Vietnam vet. He and others were harassed and taunted by students from Covington Catholic High School, a private all-boys school in Kentucky, who, according to the school's Facebook page, were in D.C. attending the March for Life. Nathan Phillips has told CNN that these kids originally started shouting at a group of African Americans. When you get old enough, they're gonna steal your organs. Whoa, hey, hey, we love you, bro. Hey, we love you, kid. Hey, we love you. Get out, yo, nigga. Get out, nigga. Get out, nigga. Get out, nigga. You want to see the movie? Why you being mean? Get out, nigga. Why you being mean? As the students clashed with another group. Phillips walked between them in an attempt to defuse the situation. There's singing and I heard, I heard them saying, build that wall, build that wall. indigenous lands. You know, we're not supposed to have those here. We never did. When I was there and I was standing there and I seen that group of people in front of me and I seen the angry faces and, and all of that, I, I realized I had put myself in a really dangerous situation. You know, it was like, here's a group of people who were angry at somebody else and I put myself in front of that and all of a sudden, I'm the one who's all that anger and all that wanting to have the freedom to just rip me apart, you know, that was scary. When I started going forward and that mass of groups of people started separating and, and, and separating and moving aside to allow me to move out of the way or to proceed, this young fella put himself in front of me and wouldn't move and so I could if I took another step I would be putting my my person into his presence into his space and I would have touched him and that would have been the the thing that the group of people would have needed to spring on me I'm joined by Chase Iron Eyes, spokesperson for the Indigenous People's March and attorney for the Lakota People's Law Project. What did you think when you saw these kids starting to circle Nathan Phillips? Well, as an attorney, I felt that this qualified as a legal definition of assault. They were causing an, an apprehension uh, of uh, an object, objective uh, fear of offensive contact or harm. They were, they were very loud, very uh, aggressive, uh, very vocal, and they were disrupting. They were trying to drown out not only the group of African Americans. On the back of your dollar bill, it says, in God we trust, but you give faggots rights. What message do you think they were trying to send? What point do you think they were trying to make? I think they were expressing a lot of internal fear and angst about the potential race relations in this country. I, I think what we're seeing is a fear about losing their power dynamic. What is happening? Nathan Phillips, uh, Raymond Kingfisher, some of our elders who are closing out the a beautiful day of the Indigenous People's March.
It's unfortunate that it had to end this way, but it's emblematic of, I think, where we're at in terms of race relations in our country. It reminded me of the jeers that people uh, yeah. faced when they were integrating schools, but it's exposing yeah. where, you know, the work that we have to do in terms of our social and racial relations well, and evolution. I was right there and these were high school kids, but there was right. about 60 of them and, and they all knew how to chant the same cheers and it was mm. very, it was aggressive. It was just a very tense yeah. environment. CNN Sarah Seidner asked Phillips what bothered him the most about Friday's confrontation. Here are his thoughts. Fear, not for myself, but fear for the next generations, fear where this country is going, fear for their, those youths, fear for their future, fear for their souls, their spirit, their they're what they're gonna do to this country. What they were doing wasn't making America great. It was just tearing down the fabric that was, that the whole idea, the spirit of America, that wasn't it. But you give faggots rights. Oh. Hey, we love you. Get out, nigga. Get out. Get out, nigga. Get out, nigga. Get out, nigga. Get out, nigga. Get out, nigga.